welcome back YouTube. This is Legendary Ray here. I'm sure you know what this is by clicking on the thumbnail. It is the new MacBook M3 we're going to be unboxing. M3 Pro MacBook. I didn't get the M2 last year. As you know by previous videos, I did get the M1. So this is going to be a quick unboxing because I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos about this. So let's get into it. Alright folks, there it is. Yes, I did order the Space Black. Pull tabs on the back. Nice and smooth. Alright, let's open it. Alright, there it is. Instruction cable, power box, and got the color matching cord. Alright. Oh, that looks super nice. This looks super nice. And it doesn't show fingerprints all that much, or hardly at all. And even on the Apple logo, it doesn't show fingerprints. All right, let's turn it on. So I got the new MacBook up and running and right now I'm just transferring files from my M1 to my M3. So we're just kind of waiting on that right now. All right, we are back. The update took a little longer than expected. It's been a few days, so we are back here recording now. Uh, I do have the M3 out of the box and I gotta say, I really do love this color. I wouldn't really consider it a space black. It is a darker gray. So comparing it to my M1, you can see the color difference between them. Now I would consider this space gray for what they're calling the M1 a space gray. So yeah, it's not really a true black, just like a darker gray, but I'm glad, it, I'm kind of glad they did this and it's not a true black. I got like a minor scratch on the logo. It's a little bit dirty only because I didn't put a cover on it first uh, in time. We do get a, a MacBook, especially how expensive these are. I really do recommend getting a type of cover for you. Uh, I did a video of it a couple of videos ago, so check that out. Uh, as far as the covers, they're fairly cheap. So I'm going to use the same cover from that I used on the M1. Actually, this cover's a little dirty, so I'll probably end up getting a new one just because I really want to show off the new Space Black. But yeah, I really do recommend getting a cover for it. Uh, I mean, you have a expensive cell phone and you probably put a cover on that so why not do it on your laptop or Mac but I haven't really tested it out uh, like I said I just barely transferred all my files from the M1 to the M3 I'm gonna probably edit this video on the M3 Pro compared to the M1 because uh, I had to do a trade-in for my for with my M1 for the M3 so hopefully I'll get enough time to do that if not then I will give you an update on basically how fast it renders this video. Okay, after fixing the issue, we are back. We are gonna continue with this test and go. Now remember, the clips I added are roughly about 35 minutes. And we'll see how long this takes to render these clips at 4K. So right now the M3 is about 12, 15 seconds ahead of the M1. So I'm still at this point. And we have the M3 about 15 seconds ahead of the M1. Okay, so we are approaching 50%. Right now the M3 is about 12, 10, 12 seconds ahead of the M1. Oh, it looks like the M1 is catching up to the M3. We're about seven, eight seconds difference. So the M1 seems to be doing better as it, I'm just gonna end the rendering there. So as you can see, the M1 performed better as it went along, uh, probably about a seven, eight second difference. All right, so that concludes the test between the M3 and the M1. Now, mind you, I only got the base model of the M3, which has the 11 core CPU, 14 core GPU, 
and the 18 gig unified memory with 512 gigabyte storage. Just a very base model. Now comparing it to the M1, I'm really not all that impressed after two years upgrades that the M1 is only eight seconds slower than the M3 is my opinion not really worth the upgrade. No, no, no one's saying that, but I'm certainly thinking it loudly. I mean, if you have an M1, I, I wouldn't upgrade myself. I, I do have the M1, I paid, I paid for it myself, wasn't sponsored or anything like that. So if I knew the difference between the two, probably wouldn't upgrade to the M3. But I do like the color and it has the 8K capability. So that would be my reason to upgrade to the M3. So I will be trading in the M1, but do I need the M3 is the big question. No, I don't. If I were to keep the M1, I'd probably upgrade from another year. But since I am keeping the M3, I probably won't upgrade for another two or three years. Who knows, depends on what the future models entail or come on. So that is the end of this video. At time of this recording, I do have 49 subs. I'm looking to get 50 and once we hit 50, I will give out a $50 Amazon gift card to a lucky subscriber. So make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification, leave a comment, and let me know if you would upgrade from the M1 to the M3 or if you have an M1 and you plan on keeping it or even an M2 if you plan on keeping it. But let me know in the comments and I'll leave the links in the description below. And so that's the end of the video. So just let me know what you guys think. And remember, don't be great, be legendary.